Hi, AT from CNC at Home. Now that we've got a tile or four uh, with titanium dioxide on it using the new XPU airbrush, I want to try doing some detailed engraving or etching, I suppose is what it is, on these tiles to see what kind of resolution works. I don't want to actually do a scientific thing. I want to do something like a compass rose that has a bunch of little tick marks for the degrees, some big black areas, that sort of thing. To do this, the first thing I want to do is find a nice compass rose image. For that, I'm going to search the internet. I've searched on compass rose and narrowed it down to just images and getting quite a few images. I'm looking for something that has something like this maybe. It has a bunch of degree marks on it, has numbers. I don't like the way they're doing that though. They're just going 0 to 90 on each one. All right, so close. That's something to keep in mind. We potentially could do that one. What else do we have here? Here's kind of a neat one, but that's, that's not a good image for us. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Here's, here's a nice detailed one with a magnetic variance of minus 4 point... Well, they don't have it in decimals. They've got 4 degrees 15 minutes west. A little magnetic offset. That's kind of cool, but not helpful. Wow, look at that one. That has a lot of little detail in it. It doesn't have any degree marks, though. Another one to keep in mind. Well, I'm going to keep looking. I like this one. It does have a watermark on it. We'll see if uh, Lightburn can ignore that or not. Let's save this one real quick and keep looking. I found several that I like. Not sure if they'll work or not. I like this one. It has a lot of fine detail in it. There is a watermark across here. And if I were to be producing these and selling these, I would want to contact the owner of the image, get permission to use it, or pay permission, pay to use it, and then get a nice unwatermarked version of it. This is for demonstration purposes. I'm not going to be selling these, so we can check to see how Lightburn deals with that watermark. It may or may not get rid of it. This is a kind of a clever one in there, but I like this one. What else do we have? I like this one. Another fine detail here in our degree marks, so that would work nicely. There are watermarks, and I think Lightburn can deal with those. Here's another good example. I like this one, too. I'll bring several of these into Lightburn, I think, and just see how they convert into vectors. But this is a good one. This one might be the winner. I like this one. Uh, it's just there's a lot of noise in here that really isn't useful, and that'll all be black. So probably not that one. Here's another good one. has watermarks on it. We should be able to get rid of those in Lightburn. I like this one another possibility. I do like this one a little too ornate maybe or complex. I'm interested to see how this would convert to vectors within Lightburn so we can give that a try. This one's straightforward. This is a good one. What I think I'm going to do uh, is try several of these within Lightburn, see how they look there, and then decide from there. If there's more than one that I like, maybe I'll burn more than one. Let's head over to Lightburn and start bringing these in. Within Lightburn, I can bring those in just by going up to File and Importing. We'll start with this first one and see what we can do by doing a trace on it. So I'll right click on the image and do Trace. We'll fade that image out a little bit. Well, without making any adjustments, that seems to do a really good job. 
some of the some of the lines down here aren't so good. Let's just adjust our threshold a little bit. There, that looks pretty good. I'm going to keep keep the image just in case I want to rescan it. Just move that a little more. Okay, doing a side-by-side -side comparison. That one turned out pretty well. Let's zoom in here. Uh, what I don't particularly like are the way these lines turned out. Now, granted, these are kind of fuzzy. It would have been nice if the image was a higher resolution. That'll turn out okay. This one wouldn't be so bad to do. So let's keep that in mind. Let's try another one. All right, we'll right-click on this. We'll do a quick trace. Let's fade that image back a little bit. This one looks really good. Okay, that one would, would look pretty well, and the size is almost perfect. It's, it's 103 millimeters, basically, square, and our tiles are 110, so we wouldn't even need to resize this. We could plop it in the center of a tile template, and that would work really well. Okay, let's keep that in mind. I like this one. Let's try another. Okay, this image is quite a bit bigger, so it should uh, trace nicer as well. Let's fade the image back a little bit. Okay, looks pretty good. We are going to get some weirdness with these with these little degree marks. They're going to end up being more like little spikes. Let's take a peek here. Yeah, not too bad actually. Um, but they do look more like spikes than lines. But this didn't turn out too bad either. No, this will be. They're all turning out pretty well. Let's try another. This is a really big image. As you can see on these watermarks, they're light enough. Uh, Lightburn is able to discount them or ignore them, which is kind of nice. In general, that turned out pretty well. There's something weird going on up here. Didn't turn out so well. And down here. Also, didn't turn out so well. Okay, let's try rescanning that one. So I'm going to zoom in on this so I can see it, and I'm going to up my threshold. Let's see if that helps. Okay, helped a little bit up here. Helped a little bit down here. Still kind of sloppy though. This is a larger image, so once this was resized to fit on a coaster, it, uh, it might look okay. We'll just resize that real quickly. How does that look? Yeah. Not the best, but it still would make a good coaster. What else do we have? Okay, this one, well, let's see. Let's see what happens to it. I'll do a trace. Okay, we're getting a lot of artifacts in here, but that's because of how that image was was done. And if we, if we lower our threshold, we're just going to get more of them. If we raise it, and we're going to start getting a watermark at that point. Let's uh, increase our ignore, and let's bring this back down. Default's 128. Let's, uh, let's up this a little bit. Four. Okay, we're getting rid of most of those little dots in there. Everything else looks fairly good. Let's give that a try, see what it looks like. Hey, that's not bad at all. Kind of zoom in on it. There's a couple things here. We can we can edit those. We should be able to. Let's ungroup this. Oops. Let's ungroup this. Okay, and then zoom in. We should be able to just pick some of these little 
issues and delete them. And I don't like the, the little dot in the middle. This one looks pretty good too. Let's grab everything. Let's group it back together. Bring the size down to about 105. See what that looks like. Okay, I think this will be the one that I do first. I do this one. So let's let's do this. Let's make a quick coaster template. Just pick the square tool, hit shift, make a square any size. Line, change it to a tool layer, and then change its size 110. I'll put it down in the lower left hand corner. Compass rows. Now, if you can see that snapping into place, when you have when you have an object. Let's turn that back to fill because that's what we want on here. When you have an object in another object, it will, or it can, snap to certain things. So as we come towards the center, it's hard to see, but there's a spot where it kind of sticks here, where it's somewhat in the middle, and that should be the exact middle. Otherwise, what we can do is press the shift key, select our template, and then have it center horizontally and vertically. Make sure that it's in the center of that. Now that looks pretty good. So on our tool layer, let's go to our library, tiles, titanium dioxide, fill, and assign that. Okay, that all looks good. Let's go ahead and save this one off. Here's the last compass rose that I had downloaded that I liked. Let's get that converted over to vectors. Okay, by default, that looks pretty good. Let's get that moved over to our black layer. Let's see how that looks a little closer. Yeah, this one worked well too. I like it. Let's go ahead and let's give this one a try too. I'll go ahead and make a coaster template. Get that converted over to my other layer. And then this whole thing, we need to resize. 105 and we'll move it over until it snaps in the center here and our parameters are still set from the uh, last one so we can go ahead and save this since I have this one up let's go ahead and burn this one first I'll go over make sure the laser is focused and we'll start burning this one I have the laser focused to a tile surface. I checked it to make sure the lens was clean. Now I'm going to put the laser in the lower left corner of the tile. This one turned out pretty well. Let's get it over, clean it up.
This is the other compass rose that I wanted to burn. So I'm going to go ahead and send that to the laser and see how this one does. I am tempted, I'm so tempted to put something in here. I think my friend Don would would like this one. I'm going to put the letter K in here, see if I can find a fancy K. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and put it here, put the letter K. I'll get that over to a better layer. We'll have to change the font too, because that's, that's just not a good K for Don. We need something fancy. His last name starts with, with K. Yeah, maybe Old English. That would be kind of fun. I think we'll go with that one. And we'll make it a, a bit bigger. Get it centered up in there as well. There, I like that. Let's go ahead and do it that way. Let's save it first. <laughs> This one turned out pretty well too. Let's get this cleaned up and take a look at them side by side. Both of these turned out really well. If you like this video, think about giving it a thumbs up. If you like the content of our channel, think about subscribing. It really helps us out. Enjoy doing your CNC at home projects. Oops. <laughs>